I'm out here with my family in McGregor. This place is just totally amazing. It's off the beaten track. It's not Langerbein. It's not Leisner. It's just a totally different vibe. And you're going to see right now why McGregor is a place you should visit as we go off the beaten track this weekend. So we just got to Steers in Robertson now. So we're going to McGregor. We're like 20 k's away. We've got Christian still in the car seat. And uh, I can't wait to see what this place looks like. Apparently we booked into the red room. So we stayed at the Grand Marigold in McGregor, run by Sally. This place is the perfect family home. It's quaint, it's relaxing. It's a massive kitchen. I mean, we had everything we needed in this place. The sleeping quarters are really, really beautiful. We've got a bedroom for us. We had a bedroom for the kids. And then the kids' room also had little sleeper couches on the edges. So it actually sleeps six people. Then, the garden. The garden is just totally out of this world. I mean, you were alone in this garden, just chilling, splash pool. And the night sky in this garden. Whoa. Then the next morning we headed out for breakfast to Tabaldi's. Tabaldi's is not only a restaurant, it's also a retreat. They offer massages, time away if you stress, well manicured gardens, amazing bird life. I mean there's birds everywhere, there's peacocks. I mean just to get away from everything and be in this garden and sit there and it's absolutely quiet. Just perfectly tranquil and quiet. Then we popped in at all the local shops. I mean, we were taking them some confetti and some local jams and all homemade. And then not forgetting the markets. The markets are all the quaint little stuff that the people are making. You've got your Kusistas, you've got your local gins, you've got your takeaways, you've got your wraps, you've got your burgers, your samis, everything. So the... Grote Rem, Eco Trail, is like this Eco Trail just like, what, 14 k's outside of uh, McGregor, Chicago's Gravel Road, like you're going to Bonneville. So we're quite excited to see what it holds because it's about a 3-4 hour trail, uh, which is in the middle of nowhere. So it looks like it's going to be more. We at the Grote Turin 4x4 trail. So before you come out here, make sure to contact Lord's Winery and they will give you access to the place you'll get the key and then you're basically going to go up this mountain what is a trip out to anywhere up country without a bit of 4x4 so we hoid up this route so one of the words of advice is always deflate the tires we were at 1.5 bar because it's quite a it's quite a difficult i'd say it's a two to three grading to get up here um but the view is simply amazing in the middle of nowhere and you've got this little remote cottage as you can see over here that is just insanely beautiful inside the views on this route is just totally breathtaking you're up there in the middle of nowhere just you and your 4x4 it's a 3 to 4 getting like I said in the beginning but I just parked up there and I just sat for hours so if you ever want to get away Come to McGregor, you won't regret it. As small as this town is, it's got so much to offer. The local people are friendly, the places are nice to stay, the food is good, the views are insane, the place is quiet, it's just a breakaway. It's an hour and 20 minutes away from Cape Town, but it's such a perfect breakaway to just get away from all the stress, get away from everything and just be out there. And there's more towns like McGregor, but McGregor is one that's going to stick in our hearts forever.
So to all my 4x4 family out there, please share the places that we don't know about. Let us know the names. Tell us about these places. Tell us what there is to do. So help us go off the beaten track and find these places. Travel the roads less traveled. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Until the next trip. We need to explore.